welcome to my uh, thoughts video for the uh, pilot episode of DC's Titans for the DC Universe app. This is, you know, the you know original series for that show. Also, it will be on Netflix, although I don't know when it's going to appear on Netflix. It hasn't yet. But, uh, yeah, so basically this is uh, my thoughts and review on the first episode. And i got to say, it actually was actually really good. Um, the story... Um, it was, it was good. Um, you gotta remember that this is not Teen Titans. This is not a, a kid's show. This is a mature show. And you also gotta remember that in the comics, the Teen Titans, it was, it was called Teen Titans in name only. Like, they, they had some dark stories. So, it, it don't, don't think it's all kid friendly. <laughs> I mean, it is, the, the comics are pretty dark. For car, I mean, they are dark comics. Um, so, you know, you gotta remember that. So for, you know, a uh, Titan, for a uh, Teen Titans mature show, this is a really good the story. Um, there are some tiny bits that uh, I don't understand and I'm confused about. I'm not going to spoil anything, but I, I will, like, I won't spoil any major parts, but, you know, the tiny bits are just, I mean, maybe I'll learn more about it later on, but from what I know of the character I'm a little confused <laughs> but um you know basically this episode is basically about focuses on Raven and Starfire and Robin and Beast Boy will does show up in it but not really like right towards the end that's the only thing spoiler kind of thinking um Hawk and Dove don't appear in the next episode next episode is actually titled Hawk and Dove, so that's pretty obvious and they're not going to appear in this first episode. Um, so basically, you know, the story basically has, you know, you see the flying Graysons and the, the whole circus thing, or at least in dream form. Um, and, you know, we hear about Raven's origin. And what I like about this is they're actually going with the... Her, they got her origin right in this, from what I know about the character. With how, you know, her powers is basically, she's the key for her father, Trigon, to basically come into our world. And they actually mentioned that in this, in the pilot, which is really good. Because, you know, I think, whereas for Starfire, this is the thing, like, I still can't get uh, on, I still can't, I'm still not um, satisfied with the Raven, what Raven wears. Or what Starfire wears. We haven't really seen what Beast Boy wears. Although from what we've seen in the trailer. You know it's kind of like. He just looks like he's just a regular guy. In like a tracksuit. Although he's not the worst out of them all. Out of those three. And Robin is probably the best. Because at least they actually made a costume for him. But then again he's been Robin for a while. And he did stop. But he has you know. So he, he was got his suit from Batman. So of course it's going to be a little better. Although, then again, Batman's suit that got leaked is pretty bad. So anyway, you know, the story basically is that, and, you know, about them. It, we don't know much of a story, so I'm not going to spoil it, so we're, I'm not going to... But the part that I thought was, eh, uh, in this episode was the Starfire parts. Um, mainly because of the costume. Like, I have no problem with the actor. The actor does a pretty good, does an awesome job of being Starfire, but the story... And all that. And I still can't get over the hair. But that's just because it's so bushy. I've got nothing to do with the colour of the hair. Or anything like that. It's just how bushy it is. It's like an afro. And Starfire's hair is not, has, is not an afro. But, you know, it's just so it's just like too bushy. That's all. <laughs> that's the only problem I have with the hair. It's just like too bushy. And all that. But as for her outfit. It's... I just... I can't get on the outfit. It's just the fur coat. The dress which I'm not going to say what type of dress is you guys can I'm sure you guys can figure out know what type of dress but I just I still can't get over that I don't I hope it changes in the future because I cannot go over that um and you see her use her powers in this and you see her eyes glow the classic green from the comics so you know that part happens right but the thing I don't get about this origin is her, her origin seems a little thing it's like almost like she's possessing a body like because she, she acts people I don't know it was very weird and I mean I don't know much about Starfire 
as an individual, so I can't really tell you what she's like as an individual. But from what I know from Teen Titans, I know her a fair bit, and this doesn't seem like the stuff I know, so it's just like, you know, I'm a little confused. Plus, one thing I remember from the comics that I read for Teen Titans, not just the show, but the, the comics, is she's meant to, you know, the way she gets her language, like learns a language, is she kisses someone. And she already knows that talk, so she's kissed someone already, but uh, anyway, it's just Starfire's story in this was very, I don't know, I just, I'm just, I, I'm sure they're going some way, but it just doesn't feel, I mean, the actor does a great job, but, and so, you know, it is worth watching, that bit doesn't wreck the show at all, it's just, I just don't understand what's going on with Starfire, but the show overall, the pilot episode is really good, and I would recommend going watch it, either on Netflix, if you don't have the DC app, or can't afford it, because here in Australia, we don't have it. Luckily, I have friends, so, you know. Um, <laughs> it's just like, oh! <sighs> so, um, also, at the end of um, the episode, what I will say, I liked the end the best, because the end basically shows, is when Beast Boy arrives, it basically, it's, he, it's, it's, it's so, it, the way they made it happen is like, oh, wow, yep. Yeah. I just knew it was Beast Boy as soon as I saw the scene. It's like, so something Beast Boy would do. I'm not going to spoil it. You guys have to go watch yourself, but it was pretty funny. Um, and yeah, so I'm looking forward to seeing the second episode. And if you want to see uh, my review of the second episode and future episodes, then let me know in the comments below. Like this video and subscribe. And check out some of the awesome videos that I, I go up. I'm a, I, do, I do gaming stuff, so I do Assassin's Creed right now. And I will be doing Lego DC Villains when it comes to that. But yeah, so anyway, basically, you know, it's, um, it was a good episode, and yeah, I, it is a good show, so, you know, if you are a Teen Titans fan, and you are old enough, and you can deal with Gore, and Robin, you know, dropping the F-bomb, which, you know, I can, it, I don't, he has, he's only said it once, so I can deal with it a little bit, but, you know. Uh, he's not Captain America, so if he was Captain America swearing, I would get annoyed, because Captain America does not swear. But this is DC, and I mean, I don't, I don't think he swore in the comics, but uh, not from what I've seen. But anyway, <laughs> I'm rambling. Um, yeah, as I said, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know if you want to see more uh, stuff like this, and check out my other videos. Alright, see ya! <laughs>